the scrappy art. Oh, well, the Enclave put their own little sticker on it. Scrapyard. The keys in this location. This location is bigger than I thought. I think it's the first dog that I've met that didn't try to eat me. You're pretty, friend you're pretty friendly, aren't you, boy? I can be a new master. Would you like that, boy? No. Come with me, dog. It'd be good to have some company out here. Good boy, dog, me. Right, Abby. Why? All right. Bragonade, tire iron. Very nice. I met dog meat. I should be seeing it. Uh, up there. No! I'm gonna Skyrim before Skyrim. I'm gonna Skyrim up. Uh. Is there a house in this area? It's gotta be. I think so. Stroller. Damaged garden gnome. Oh, goodness. Oh, Jack. My. I wasn't expecting any visitors. Bam. I'm just kidding. My, my, my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Oh, exploring. Honestly, there's nothing much out here. I'm looking for sand, rocks, we have plenty of that. You're welcome to look around this area, of course. Don't let me dissuade you. I'm just trying to save you some time. My husband built this place way out here for a reason. Rest his soul. Huh. Oh, your husband's dead? I'm sorry. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes. He's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. Oh. Sure, you haven't severed all contacts. 
Oh, oh, goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with them for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. What could you, what could you have to trade? Besides shelter? Well, I offer something in the way of entertainment. I play songs on my homemade violin, and people trade me goods. If not in person, I use my husband's old radio set. Radio. The men in the caravan say it keeps their morale up on lonely nights in the wasteland. I guess a homemade violin is never quite in tune. Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. Your husband's radio can broadcast the, broadcast across the entire wasteland? Yes. Capital wasteland? My husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. Is there any way I can help? Well, now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. A violin? That's hardly something that would have survived the war. Yes. Very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. <sighs> well, fortunately... I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. If you give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. You seem like a nice woman. Let's get that violin for you. Well, that's just so sweet of you. I feel bad sending you off with nothing like this. I have a small amount of ammunition that my husband left behind. A box of odds and ends. I don't think I've opened it in years. If you do this for me, you're welcome to take whatever you need. All right. I'll give you my word. I'll do my best to recover a violin for you. Oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. As promised... Here's the key to the ammunition box. It's right under the radio table. As promised, here's the key to the ammunition oh. box. It's right under the radio table. Before you leave, I have some information that may help you. At least a place to begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother Hilda back in 2077, before the bombs fell. Okay. You have records f from back then? Of a kind, yes. Hilda sent a good deal of letters to my great-grandmother Mary, who passed them on, and so forth. I suppose the correspondence could be considered a diary of sorts. Twenty seventy-seven. I can't even imagine that long ago. It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Musical talent, why would they care about that? vault was always promoting the vaults being used for the preservation of the arts and all that nonsense. Hilda couldn't pass on a chance to meet many of the other musical talents of the world, so she accepted their invitation. Then the bombs fell, the vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. For 200 years, how can you be certain the violin is in decent shape? She kept it in a special pressurized case. Inside the case is the perfect temperature and humidity for the instrument. 
If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. Hmm. Hilda's Stradivarius was named the Swa Stradivarius. All of them had names. That's what I want you to get. Swa. Any idea where Vault 2092 is located? That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. Hmm. I'd suggest making your way to Vault Tech headquarters in the DC oh. ruins. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! One more thing before we go. Um, what do you know about the Swa Stradivarius? Not too much, I'm afraid. It was fabricated way back in 1714 by a famous Italian craftsman named Antonio Stradivari. He had made a bunch of Stradivarius violins, actually, and each one was individually named over time to identify them. They are regarded as the most outstanding instruments ever made, and no two sound alike, they say. Incredible. Since the bombs fell laying waste to most of the world, it may be safe to say that this could be the last surviving violin of its kind. Hmm. How will I know the Stradivarius when I see it? Well, from my great-great-grandmother's <laughs> diaries, I have deduced that she had a special pressurized case created for it. Hopefully, the Swa Stradivarius was in the case when she... Well, you know. Is the Stradivarius for a ton of caps? I hope you're not thinking of doing anything dishonest. You gave me your word. <laughs> Yes, I'd imagine it would fetch an incredible sum of caps to someone that was knowledgeable in musical history. I doubt the average merchant would even realize what they were holding. Hmm. Well, okay. Tell me a little bit more about your great-great-grandmother. She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Happily, she accepted. After she entered Vault 92, the bombs fell. And the story as I know it ends. Hmm. Tell me anything about Vault Tech headquarters. From what I gather, it's located in the ruins of D.C. I got the location from one of the supply caravans. They told me it had extremely high security and something they call a main frame inside. I'd imagine it's quite dangerous. I'd be careful if I was you. Do you have any information on Vault 92? I'm sorry. I wish I did. All I know is that Vault Tech intended it to be a protective environment for the world's musical talent. When the bombs fell, the vault was sealed and the rest is a mystery. Perhaps when you find it, you can find some sort of a record of what occurred inside. All right, I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Uh -huh. Back into the metro. Hey, it's the same protect run. Where am I going? Move along, please. Hold it. Vault Tech Headquarters, huh? Hmm. Oh, do I?
Oh, that's it? Oh. Oh, they have one on one door. What do you see, dog meat? What do you see? Uh, uh Robo Brain? Alright, uh, Robo Brain. No more rubber brain. Hmm. Pretty bottle caps? Yes. I'm talking about. Oh, that's how I got in here. Okay. Man locked. Let me try this one. Again. Nice. Okay, both are both are um, initiated. There we go. You've accessed the Vault Tech mainframe. Download Vault locations and access codes. Do I get like all the vault locations? Oh, I do. Oh, goodness. This is the mainframe. Nice. All right. Let's get up on out of here. Right up here. All right. Vault ninety two. We'll try to get in. I think this could be a shelter, you know. Are those that we couldn't get in? You hold it. I don't like when that happens. Oh, that's the violin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's security measures. You download the locations and access codes to vaults 87, 92, 101, 106, and 108. So far, the experiment is going exactly as planned. Uh, this is Professor Malis Malchus Audio. Log V9201. So far, the experiment is going exactly as planned. We are subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency noise, regular intervals through the loudspeaker system. Using the soundproof recording studios and the musicians was an inspired idea. <laughs> Kudos to the Vault Tech. Uh, 
Apex Selection Committee on their shrewdness. So far, the experiment is going exactly as planned. We are subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency white noise, regular intervals by the loudspeaker system. Using these soundproof recording studios and musicians was an inspired idea. <laughs> Kudos to the vault Tech Selection Committee for their shrewdness. Exactly as planned. We are subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency white noise and regular intervals through the loudspeaker system. Using these soundproof recording studios and the musicians was an inspired idea. <laughs> Kudos to the Vault Tech Selection Committee on their shrewdness. Shrewdness. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna have subtitles enabled from now on. If the game supports it, well, I'm on. I didn't think about that. Reactor room. Merle Myler. Oh. I knew it. Marlock Hunter, oh. I'm in water. Ah. Okay. That's weird, but okay. We got him. Give me that. Nice much credit count. What did yeah. water leak? Mass. What am I more like? Utility. Oh. 
What's this going? Living quarters. Okay. What I can do in here first. Ah, loops me back around. <laughs> Loving quarters is the next area I need to go in. I'm just gonna vacuum cleaner. Oh, shit. Yeah, this vault is the <laughs> all blood by still. In that case, I'm going to swap to, um, Recon armor, that's cool. Look like. Officer's office. <laughs> oh, yes. Nothing. Bummer. batch of data. It seems that 33% of the subjects are now lapsing into a trance-like state on occasion. When in this state, we're fairly certain that suggestion and programming of the subject can be applied. We've begun testing this by implanting subtle cues in affected subjects, making them scratch their ear or constantly fix their hair. So far, I'm happy to report a 100% success rate on this implementation method. This was no vault for musical talent. There's another one of Vault Tech's horrible experiments. It's a normal normal one or just another one. Other residents in a fit of unbridled rage, the likes of which I've never seen. It took almost 23 shots before the security team took him down. This subject has no history of violence or mental instability whatsoever. My concern is that this subject is one of our most successful implant recipients. Implants. Complex instructions during a trance state. What the hell do they do these people? Personal entry, which one's the latest one? Oh, no, this is the earliest one. Overseer access only. As per instructions, the broadcast equipment for the white noise has been rerouted from the sound booths and 
tied directly into the entire Vault's loudspeaker system. I'll now be able to execute Vault Tech's confidential plan, WNMSCE, White Noise Mind Suggestion Combat Experimentation. I have three Professor, uh, I have three of Professor Malice's team, uh, doing what I need to get done and hope to show some concrete results soon. I had the engineers, uh, make it so the WN can be either triggered from the cons control center or at least the, uh, local security consoles. The password to these consoles is UIY2249. The results of WNMSCE are even better than I could ever have imagined. The sheer strength and tenacity of combat suggestion implanted test subjects is incredible. Imagine an entire army of people who would never disobey a direct order from high command and can fight until it takes over 20 bullets to stop them. Malleus says WNMS and SC is a failure. So there's only a few de so there's only been a few deaths. One step back, two steps forward. It's easy, to, it's easy to suppress what everyone in the vault are calling crazies. I've added a, com a command uh, word in their suggestion implants. Simply to say the phrase sanity is not a status statistical and they will stop dead in their tracks. I have informed the guards of this, but I've told them only to use it when, all, when out of the earsh... But I've told them only to use it when out of the earshot of anyone else. The command phrase is no longer working against these crazies. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'm losing control of the situation. If we don't get these things under control soon, we're gonna have a, a huge revolt on our hands. Malleus is inciting the rest of the vault into action. I'm afraid by, uh, by the power invested in me by the Vault Tech Corporation, I have no choice but to have him killed. What a waste. <laughs> Can you imagine like, the, like what they did to get do those implants on those people? Must have been horrible. What? That's just really, really, really good at environmental storytelling. Right, this is great. This is awesome. They are the best at this thing. We know something happened here, but we're getting all the information we need. And it's not even being like told to us through a cutscene. We're figuring it out. Darts. Tales of a junk down. Tales of a junk town jerky vendor. We know what junk town is. <laughs> Barter, just by one. That's 12 pounds right there, it's crazy. Everything weighs so much. Shop man, you have better science skill, man. 
I'm five points away. I'm about to level up, though. living quarters do so you think the violin would be somewhere in that person's quarters my gosh where do I go yeah, this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Sound testing. Oh yeah, there's a musical room. So Hammerstein. <laughs> Zoe's thoughts. It's so wonderful to be surrounded by all this talent. Little old me, who can barely play the violin, is sitting among some of the world's greatest musicians. I still can't believe my luck. Today was a great. Today was great too. I was able to record an entire symphony. Fine symphony number three, in D minor. It was so beautiful. I could barely keep up with everyone else in the string section, but they were so nice. They encouraged me instead of being stuffy jerks or something. Best of all, they recorded all of it and then let you hear it yourself, uh, and play in the studio speakers. I can't wait until tomorrow. I can hear we're doing a big piece from Dervat. Been feeling a little sick lately. Kind of woozy after playing in the studio usually. It gets so stuffy in the place, but it's sure worth it. I know I'm getting better just from the watching my fellow violinist techniques. They don't even mind giving me some pointers. Tonight, a bunch of us girls from the string spec section are going down to the rec hall for a dance. I hope that uh, two sound guy Parker asked me to dance. He's dreaming. More of those thoughts. I'm not feeling very good. I can't concentrate. I went to Dr. Benison's office, but he just said it's stress. And to take it easy for a while, I think at the time I'm spending in the sound studio is making me tired. I can barely type anymore. I am shaking so much. Kill, 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 please help me. Oh. Dude, what kind of shit did they do to these people? They lost their minds. <laughs> Six. 
situation is getting out of hand. Over half the population of the vault is exhibiting savage tendencies. You can only assume our noise experimentation has awakened some dormant part of their psyche, brought their primitive nature to the surface. In essence, I feel that they are almost psychologically devolving. I was stupid for rushing these experiments. Now over 35 people are dead. <laughs> That's dark, man. That is dark as shit. Here, here, here to think I was just gonna go here and get a violin. Crazy. I need to get in that room. I think there are people playing instruments normally in here. is terrible. Lab. I think I've been in here. Maybe not. Some made drugs down here. Damn it. Railway spikes. <laughs> Open recording studio. Intra vault mail. This is all the habit and happens like just talking about their sessions and stuff. Before he died, one of the security team members told me everything. The Overseer has been implanting these murderous intentions in the entire vault population without my knowledge. Using the loudspeakers in the dorms instead of just the studios, he subjected everyone to the white noise as they slept. He then implanted combat suggestions he claims came from vault Tech itself. He, he must be completely insane. No observation, no controls. I'm going to have to confront him now, and make him pay for what he's done. Half the vault is dead. The other half, fighting for its life. Good luck to all of us. And may God have mercy on our souls. There's another musical room.
Here it is. Return to Agatha. This poor vault. These poor inhabitants. I'm about a missing thing here. I think that's everything. Damn, dude. Going fast travel back to um, Ag Agathos. Ooh, that was that was depressing. <laughs> gracious seems like you've been gone forever please tell me you have good news Jabail and Vagatha but you have no idea what I was what I went through oh my goodness I must see it please oh my it's more beautiful than I could have ever imagined I can't thank you enough I wish I had something to give you a more suitable reward for all your efforts all I can give you is the frequency to my radio set. Tune in whenever you feel like listening to the strains of an old woman's violin playing. All right. Ready. All right. Ball at 108. Another completely destroyed vault. Typical vault tech fashion. Oh no, dead Gary 42, this is Gary's fault. <laughs> We are in for a treat. Cloning lab. I can't remember what happened here.
Gary 17. Sorry, Gary. You were tortured like this. To live by yourself. But not just by yourself. Multiple versions of you. Oh! Blue blood. <laughs> Cloning lab. <laughs> Gary. Gary number twelve. Nice, been to some bottle caps. What's my hollow tapes? In the lore. Female dorm, what a freaking lie. This dorm was exclusively for a single person named Gary. I wasn't done with the cloning web. Metal spoon. Mark. Wild. <laughs> Living quarters. Hmm. 
Silenced. Oh, damn, how about that? More red riches. What a desolate place. building beautiful oh. I'll sit it um. Enclave <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> Washington DC It's not gonna be following me. Let's go. Buy him time. Have a time. Did that just call fight the enclave? Hopefully. This is amazing. Definitely gonna be here though. Oh, I did get him. Nice. <laughs> plasma pistol. Oh, I have so much energy. I have 900 plasma. Oh, uh, yes, I gotta use this. Oh, you could fly them.
in that direction. We're in. Of doing their thing over there in town. The goo power. Goo power. I got him. <laughs> I don't realize you can go back. I'm behind the cap. Amazing. Oh. Oh. Did I kill that behemoth? Over here. Over here. This game's amazing. So atmospheric. Wow, would you look at that? Got it. Ooh. I'm missing. I want this one dead on a fucking uh. oh, look at this. Beautiful. Well, I mean, again, beautiful for a fallout. Like, this is the capital. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So many landmarks in this game. Door to Hall of Columns. That was massive.
Oh ah. no, my weapon broke. <sighs> well. That was pretty worth it. We're done. With the, we're done with the uh, the capital. Rat. Part of your life. With Pip Boy, all life's answers are in sight. Pip 